Hello people, I am Bharat Acharya. Welcome to our new video. So today's video, we are doing something very interesting. We are doing gate questions from COA subject from the recent year's papers. Now this was highly requested by students learning COA. They're saying, sir, we know how to prepare for the college exams. You understood the videos. Now we want to prepare for entrance exams. Yes, you have big goals in life. So they want to prepare for gate exam and not just gate, any other entrance exam. You know, gate is right up there. If you know how to solve gate questions accurately and quickly, then you know how to solve questions of any other entrance exam. So that's what is our goal. I'm making a series of videos. So what I've done is I've taken the last three, four years gate papers sorted out first of all all the questions which are pertaining to the COA subject then I have segregated them based on the topic so today's video is about questions from number systems remember that's how we started learning this subject the first topic we learned was number systems so today's video is all about those questions then we'll be making a video for instructions then for control unit then for memory based questions and finally IO based questions okay so in number systems, you know there are fixed point numbers, floating point numbers, there is arithmetic logic operations based on those numbers. So these are questions based on all those topics. Okay, uh, There are questions which have appeared in 19, 2019, 2020 and of course three questions from 2021. Uh, you'll be surprised to see once you know how to solve them, how easy they are. Just, just stop being scared that yeah, I'm solving a gate question. Focus on the concept, learn the idea and most importantly, not just get the answer right but get it quickly. So, our first question which came in 2019 is, they have given you some number, now this is to minus 28, it could be any number, so they have given some number and they said, get the two's complement form, show the two's complement form of this number, they have given you four options, if you closely look, the four options are pretty similar to each other, that's how they try to confuse you, so I am going to show you how to do it. The next question will be, is from 2020. Okay, last year's paper. Uh, this is a tricky one. They have given you two registers which contain floating point numbers, but they have not given it in floating point format, in hexadecimal format. Okay, so you've got two numbers in hexadecimal format. A third register is basically a division of these two. So you've got to find out what is the answer, but again, not in floating point. You've got to get the answer back into hexadecimal. So this appears to be a very big calculation. I'm going to show you the calculation and then I'm going to show you how to get the answer within a minute, how to get it quickly. Okay, then this is a pretty interesting question to be honest. Next, they have given you sine exponent fraction, that is the mantissa part. And they've asked you, figure out what this number is. So this is exactly the opposite of what we do normally. Normally, we take a decimal number, convert it into a specified floating point format. Here, it's the reverse. They've given you the floating point part of the number, the sine exponent mantissa part. You got to figure out what is the decimal number and including the correct sign. Here, they have not given you options. That means you got to calculate the answer to pinpoint accuracy. Remember, these are computer corrected exams. So even if you deviate slightly from the actual answer, it won't be treated as a correct answer. There's no gray area over here. You are either right or you're wrong. So you've got to do it accurately and get the correct answer as fast as possible. The next one, now this is straight out of our video. Not trying to boast here, but that's the fact. Uh, if you remember a few months back, about six, seven months back, I made a video where I showed you extreme cases of floating point numbers and I said it very clearly. This is not for regular college exams. This is only if you're preparing for entrance exams. So for coincidentally, in this year's gate exam, a question was asked straight out of that video or straight out of that discussion. So the question is, what is the smallest possible positive uh, normalized number that can be stored in single precision format. Again, they've given you four options which are almost identical, trying to confuse you as much as possible. You've got to pick up the correct answer. And the last one, the most interesting of the whole lot, where they have told you they played with endianness of a number. This I'm going to be teaching you during the video. So there's something called little endian form and big endian form. So they've said this a particular number is so and so value in little endian form and so and so value in big endian form. They have not given the values. They've said the difference between the two values is 255. Figure out what the number was. Now this is a very intelligent question. That's what I love about these kind of questions. Here, you will not find the answer in any textbook directly because these come from your concepts. And even if you can, you know, get the picture of these solutions, it's no point. Unless you understand how to do this and build your concept about it, the next time in your paper, the question that is going to be, will not be exactly the same but it will be based on the same similar concept. So if you know how to get the concept right, you know how to solve those. Okay. So these are the questions that we'll be discussing in this uh, video. 
This was an introduction. You want to watch the whole video, you want to learn the whole subject of COA and enjoy learning it, come on my website www.bharatacharyaeducation.com. Over there you will find courses of COA, ADA D5, ADA D6, ADA D6. I teach a lot of processors. I love this whole subject and microcontrollers too. So select the course of COA, click the subscribe button. There is a small fee to it that we have kept so that the whole operation is viable to us. But at the same time the fee is so low that it's uh, feasible for any student. But anyway, once you make the payment, your course begins immediately. First watch all the videos, don't make the mistake, the shortcut that people take, I will only solve gate questions and I'll, be, I'll prepare for gate, no it's not going to happen like that. You got to understand the entire subject, the question can come from anywhere, okay. So first watch all the videos, understand the subject, then start tackling these tricky questions, okay. With the videos, you'll get PDFs. Okay, with every video where you'll get the whole explanation, the entire theory, if there's a numerical, the whole numerical solved with explanation, whatever material is required. So my point is you don't need any reference textbook after that. You watch the video, understand the concept, right in front of you, you'll see a button called view notes, click that, the PDF will open. So you're prepared for the exam. Moreover, you'll get a PDF of Viva questions. Moreover, you'll get a PDF of MCQs where you'll get tons of questions like these. Okay. Most importantly, you will also get direct access to me. This is my WhatsApp number. Once you're my student, you're, you're welcome to ask me doubts whenever you want to. Don't expect a reply immediately, but you will get a reply by the end of the day as soon as I get the time to reply. Okay? Hope to see you there. Wish you all the best. Do well.